What makes for a can palm door winner? Ignore the critics, because it's up to the jury, this year led by President Greta Gerwig, to decide. While far-flung prognosticators might consult the ever-updating Screen Daily International Critics Grid for the writing on the walls, predicting winners is more about assessing the makeup and tastes of the jury. Screening 22 films of filmmakers like J.A. Bayona, Nadine Labaki, and Hirokazu Koida, plus actors like Lily Gladstone, Ebru Ceylan, Eva Green, and Omar C. Though past Palm Door winners indicate jurors respond to emotion, like I, Daniel Blake or Shoplifters, more recent winners, Titan, Triangle of Sadness, have been less typically audience-pleasing. Last year's Palm Door recipient, Anatomy of a Fall, was hardly an overwhelmingly emotional movie, but its smart screenplay and great performances took it beyond can all the way to a Best Original Screenplay Oscar win, for director Justine Triet and her partner and co-writer Arthur Harari. Let's look at the competition so far. Thursday night saw wildly divergent reactions to Francis Ford Coppola's self-funded Roman-inspired epic Megalopolis, with critics calling it everything from overstuffed to crazily ambitious to catastrophic. An early morning, crack of dawn exclusive press screening at the Cinea Mimax Theatre in Cannes saw journalists pouring out bewildered, while the later press and public screenings elicited the expected boos. The jury may want to praise Coppola for his four-decade-plus-long efforts in some way, though the visually daring, VFX-heavy $120 million film starring Adam Driver as an architect trying to rebuild a metropolis into a utopia is not an easy embrace and still lacks a distributor despite IMAX committing to showings. Plus, its female characters, including Natalie Emmanuel as Driver's love interest, they have no chemistry, and the daughter of his mayor rival, Giancarlo Esposito, are mostly cartoonish, which may not go over well with Gerwig's jury. Aubrey Plaza, though, does her best with a boxed-in villain character, the flippant on-camera financial reporter named Wow Platinum who brings her typically daffy comic relief to otherwise unintentionally comic elements. The time-honored Coppola is in the competition for the first time since 1979's Apocalypse Now, another ambitious epic that sharply divided viewers at the time before winning the palm, and that could work in his favor, too. More warmly received earlier on Thursday was Andrea Arnold's Bird, starring Barry Keoghan as a father of two living in a squat in northern Kent, and Franz Rogowski as the mysterious vagabond who befriends Keoghan's 12-year-old daughter, newcomer Nukia Adams. Arnold has three times won the Cannes Jury Prize, Fish Tank, American Honey, and Red Road, and the jury may look to elevate her palm door position at last. Bird is a warm-hearted crowd-pleaser compared to her earlier, darker coming-of-age stories. And all three performances are among the best of the fest so far, but can audiences were already in a kind of Andrea Arnold mood on day one with the premiere of Agatha reading as Wild Diamond, the only feature debut in competition this year and a late edition from Thierry Fremo. The Academy Ratio shot French drama follows a hard-scrabble teenage girl growing up on the wrong side of the tracks and with dreams of turning her TikTok presence into a reality TV career. The style and substance owe a great deal to Arnold's fish tank, but the film, which has received mixed reviews, would have fared better in uncertain regard. That's where first and second features tend to premiere anyway, and are eligible for the camera door. Earlier in the festival, competition newbie Magnus von Horn, the Swedish director whose debut the hereafter was up for the camera door in 2015, entered the fray with The Girl with the Needle. Based loosely on the true story of Danish serial killer of infants Dagmar Overby, the horrifying black and white drama hasn't generated a great deal of buzz on the Crisette so far. But the dark fairy tale's strong visuals, also in the Academy ratio, and largely female ensemble, Vic Carmen's song gives an understated performance as a woman caught under Overby's sway, could win over certain corners of the jury for lower tier prizes. There's still much to be seen, with the coming days bringing the premieres of Paul Schrader's O, Canada and Yorgos Lanthimos' Kinds of Kindness.
Gerwig's jury, meanwhile, on the day one press conference said it would be impossible not to consider global issues when making their decision. The jury has yet to see Mohammad Rasulov's The Seed of the Sacred Fig, screening at the end of the festival. But with the director having just fled theocratic Iran following an eight-year prison sentencing, he could be a major factor in the race while in competition for the first time. Plus, remember that Gerwig is an actress as well as a filmmaker, where prior juries have often been led by behind-the-camera only auteurs, Ruben Erstland in 2023, Spike Lee in 2021. Which means an emotional response to a film could dominate over craft, or at least be just as likely a factor. We'll keep you updated as the competition unfolds. Can competition entries ranked so far by likelihood of winning the Palm d'Or? 1. Bird 2. The Girl with the Needle 3. Wild Diamond 4. Megalopolis.